first, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is, DC, the one, the only, Tony Ferguson, the former UFC interim lightweight champion and the man who was the first to accrue a double-digit winning streak in the division, 155 pounds, that most people believe is the best and deepest in the UFC. It has long been the deepest division in the UFC, and Tony Ferguson has maneuvered his way through that and had eventually captured the interim lightweight championship. One of the most diverse strikers that you've ever seen. I mean, the elbow he hit against Josh Thompson to split him open oh. was unbelievable. And couple that with the college wrestling background. Right. And every time you step into the octagon with Ferguson, you know you're going to have your hands full. From him walking to the octagon dancing, to getting in there and being so free-flowing, Tony Ferguson is one of the best fighters on the UFC's roster. He really thrives under the bright lights. He is a finisher of the highest order. His training habits are truly the stuff of legend. Eddie Bravo talks about this guy training for six hours straight. Oh. Probably ill-advised for most fighters, <laughs> but El Kukui can do it. He can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 29 wins, 13 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! You ready? Here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John. John it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go grapple. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice punch there by Greek. He'll engage in a single collar tie. <laughs> right hand upstairs. I mean, look at the spit with the kick. Oh! Oh! Who's hurt? Throws him up. Go get him. Uh, straight right. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out the space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the opponent. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Combination there by Green. Oh. Oh, nice right in. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. That 
was a cutting leg kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Caught that kick there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Green gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. Oh! He's Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. What a punch. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Green. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be... Okay. Are you okay? All right. You can do it. Okay, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Green. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Wow! Oh! Liver kick! Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be. Oh! He's out! He got him! <laughs> a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number two. You're going to win her by knockout, Bobby King Reed. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.